Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a, a great weekend and staying safe out there. Today's little video is going to be a quick look round and demonstration of my infield emergency water kit. Stay tuned. back so today's topic is an emergency in field water filtration kit now this is something that I have tried used and developed over many years <laughs> and it's simple light to carry and effective so I'm going to show you the contents of this little kit and then we're going to take it outside and give it a demonstration and uh, let you guys and lasses be the judge and see what you all think stay tuned Alrighty, let's open this kit up and I'll show you the contents. What this compromise of consists of, rather. <laughs> so, initially, one thin Ziploc bag just to contain the contents. And we'll unroll the kit. And immediately, you'll find four heavy duty, good quality, strong Ziploc bags. Now these, I'll bring uh, bring it up to the camera to show you hopefully, these have also got punched holes eyelets in the top corners which will come into play later on. These are a heavy duty Ziploc bag, um, compare it to a standard, I don't know if this will pick up, but they're quite, quite substantially more thick, thicker gauge plastic than the standard Ziploc bag. The actual zipping mechanism is good, strong good construction and they're approximately two litres of volume when you pour a litre of water into these it roughly comes halfway so keeps it manageable keeps it usable so you get four of those you then get a bag another ziplock bag one of the thin gauge ones and this contains approximately 40 grams of my activated charcoal carbon granules as you know, activated carbon is what is found in most of the life straw type of filter systems. Good for taking out debris, particles, some heavy metals and various algae and stuff out of the water just to filter it initially. So that's that. I've advertised as 40 grams. There's usually more. You know what I'm like, I always overdo it, not underdo it. Then you get another Ziploc bag, again one of the thin ones just as a container, but could be used as a collection aid, and inside of which there are 10 in-date Oasis water purification tablets. So one tablet equals one litre of purified water, as we all know. Two symmetrically sealed tampons which will again I'll demonstrate this will come into play later on two straws and 16 feet of waxed nylon cordage so I'm going to put this kit together now give you a demonstration of how it operates and why I think it's effective and um, I'm going to do that outside so stay with me and we'll take a look welcome back so we're outside now under my little tarp set up and um, just give you a quick demonstration of how to use this filtration system. So I've got some <laughs> monkey water <laughs> which we're going to filter and um, demonstrate this kit with. So let's crack on. So a bit of preparation is required first. So we're going to get one of the tampons and the cordage out of the container bag to start with. <coughs> There's 16 feet of cordage with this kit, so plenty for what we're going to be doing. So I've hanked it so that if you use <coughs> excuse me, the tail end, you can pull out as much or as little as you need without it binding. So you don't need to unravel the whole lot. So we'll take one of our heavy duty Ziploc bags. <coughs> Make sure that the eyelets are clear and punched through ready. 
<coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to take as cordage and we're going to make two loops to start with. So I'm going to cut off two pieces, approximately a foot, maybe 18 inches. And these are going to form the basis of the hanger or the hanging system. So I want two of those ish. Okay, so we've got two pieces. So I'm just going to thread. In fact, I'll double it over to make it easily easier to operate. Just thread that cordage through one corner. Like so. Same on the other corner. <coughs> And this obviously will allow the bag to be suspended, supported, but still allow enough movement of the ziplock mechanism so I can actually add water. So I've got a way of hanging that bag now. What I'm going to do then is take one of the tampons, take it out of its packaging. <coughs> so I've got one tampon, the same bag, open the bag. <coughs> and we're putting the tampon into the bottom of one of the corners of that bag if that makes sense pull it end down like so and then I'm going to using another small piece of cordage just with a simple overhand knot just tie that off into place Okay, so just tighten that down into the corner of the bag. Don't have to go crazy with it, but just enough so that it's secure and not going to come out. Just wrap it around a couple more times there. Alrighty. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be pretty as long as it's functional. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to take my carbon granules like I say there's over 40 grams in, so you've got enough for at least I don't know four kits so I'm going to put roughly a quarter of the contents obviously into said bag let me pan you down here a little ways I'm just out of camera shot I believe Just ish, it doesn't have to be hang on. <coughs> and this is, like I say, pharmaceutical grade activated um, carbon. It's not just remnants out of one of my old fire pits, it is the proper stuff. So now we've got that arrangement. So I've got carbon, carbon granules on top of um, a tampon. So basically I've made a makeshift water filter. So what I'm going to do now is tie this up to a post or something and then introduce a second bag which is going to be my water collection point. So stay tuned and we'll get that set up now. Okay so what I've done, I've tied the filter bag containing the carbon granules through these two loops on my fence post here, just for a demo. And then I've also attached the second bag through the eyelets that are punched in the top of the first filter bag. So what I can do now is put this bag inside of that bag and it all hangs together. So I've made a double stack basically, dead simple, dead easy. So this bag onto the tie out points at the top this bag onto the loop holes at the top of that to ziplock bag. Dead simple. So what I need to do now is take your knife, your scissors, whatever, and just cut off the corner end of the filtration bag. So we've got we've just cut the end off there. Okay. Put it back 
over there a little ways. So now that end I'm going to put into the second bag. Like so. And that's it, we're ready to filter water. So again, I'm going to bring on, I've got a litre here of brackish, muddy, murky water. So I'm going to pour this now into the top of the filter bag. There we go, that's a full litre in. As you can see, it's just a shade over halfway. So it gives you a rough gauge as to how much you know water you're actually filtering. Therefore, if you're going to use the um, water purification tablets, you know roughly that you use one tablet for half a bag, one litre. So what we do is now we just wait, let gravity do its thing. I don't know if this is picking up, but it's starting to come through already there dripping off the end of the tamp on there. It does take a long time. So that's why, or well, one of the reasons, in this kit, I've given enough equipment to do two kits so you can stagger the time between them. So you're always gonna have at least one liter of drinkable water on the go. <clears throat> now, obviously, if you can and where you can, always, always boil your water. This setup will allow you to make filtered drinkable water if you cannot light a fire for any reason but I would always recommend boiling your water as your first go to making it safe um, method I think that's a given most of us already know that so, so we're going to let that do its thing and we'll cut back in a minute and uh, put the tablet in it give it another 30 minutes to have full contact with that tablet and then we'll give it a taste test and see how it performs stay with me Welcome back, so I've been away from this setup about two, two and a half hours now and um, we filtered about a third of a litre, so obviously that being said, this setup does take a long time, so therefore do your preparation ahead of time, set this up before you go to bed, you'll have good clean water in the morning. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to cut now, use what we've got, drop a tablet in it, give it a taste test and a quick wrap up in the shed and that's this done so stay with me So obviously one litre, one tablet, but we've only got a third of a litre there, so I'm going to roughly gauge, as best as I can by eye, a third of a tablet. So roughly a third-ish. Get that bad boy in there. Give it at least 30 minutes. Give it a shake regular if you want to. You want full 30 minute contact for that tablet. Dissolves pretty much straight away. And then that water should be good to go. Okay, let's do a little taste test of the purified, filtered and purified water. Bring on the straw out the kit. Get that puppy in there. As usual, tastes like swimming pool water with it having the tablet in there. 
but tastes clean, pure, and good to go. So, anyway, that's my demonstration of my infield emergency water filter kit. And yes, I am going to be putting these on my little eBay shop. I'll put a link in the description box below if you're interested in any of this sort of stuff. Dead simple, dead easy. You'll get several uses out of each one of these setups. They do take a long time. Like I say, I'd leave these to filter overnight. That would be my recommendation. Or set them up in the morning, ready for collection in the evening. So that's the Mad Dog Emergency infield water filtration kit. Before I sign off, one last little trick or tip. So let me bring in here a minute if you do have a discarded plastic um, water bottle with your brackish water in. Again, take another tampon, open that bad boy up. And as we all know, because of the nature of these things, they swell when they come into contact with moisture water. Um, so what I'm going to do is String end in first into the mouth of the bottle and then just slowly introduce some liquid to the base of that tampon. And obviously the tampon hopefully as you can see is starting to swell straight away as it's designed to. And that should hold the tampon in place by its own accord which should then allow me to turn that upside down and squeeze that water through so I've instantly made yet another makeshift filter you see it's, get, it's coming through quite nice and clean that's just debris that I had on my hand already but it's coming through nice and clean that's another quick and easy infield makeshift water filter if you have a bottle with a narrow gauge neck in which to put your tampon. So it's another little trick or hack worth remembering that one. So anyway, been a long ass video, but thank you all very much for staying with me and your continued support. Like I say, this will be on my eBay shop. I've got um, another product that I'm also going to be introducing to my lineup, which will be uh, the sulfur matches, the spill, sulfur spills or spunks. Um, the preceder to the strike anywhere match so that will be coming up very soon so again thank you all very much for watching stay safe take care out there mad dog signing off yeah <coughs>